Yo, I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. We have a little bit of new world news to bring you guys regarding leaderboards. Yes, these things are coming into the game and they are going to launch on February the 7th, as we can see right here. So that's just right around the corner. I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the leaderboard, show you guys what's going to be included in the leaderboards. And I would love to hear what you guys think about these things. Are you excited about the leaderboards? Is this something that you've been waiting for, a feature that you've been waiting for to come into the game? Do you not care about leaderboards? What's your thoughts and opinions? How are they, how they're doing the scoring, all that stuff. Let me know in the comments below because I'd love to have a conversation with you because this topic is pretty intriguing to me. But let's take a look here. Again, they launch on February the 7th, all right? So here is what the uh, titles and skins are going to look like. So for example, if uh, you're doing a mutated expedition score category, if you're in the top five, you're going to get something like uh, Victor. So Dynasty Victor or Garden of Genesis Victor or whatever. Top 25 is going to get the same thing, only it's going to be Medalist. And then if uh, you're a Conqueror, one of these is Speed, I think. Uh, and then the other one is is score probably for for the expedition. I don't know which is which, but it says top five finishers going to be conqueror uh, of the said expedition and then hero of the said expedition. Here are the skins. All right. So let's talk about these things for just a second. Let's take a look at the skins. This is what they're going to be rewarding you if you finish. To me, um, I don't want to I don't want to be rude but i think these are terrible I, I i don't like these skins at all for skins that are supposed to be something for a big reward for being at the top of the leaderboards these kind of miss the mark for me i don't know what the spikes are the, the spikes don't really go with the gold um i, I the, the cape looks cool I, I like the cape but i'm not a big fan of the rest of the skin uh just my personal opinion some of you guys might love this and if you do that's great i'm glad uh that somebody does i these to me just uh they missed the mark just a little bit. Missed the mark just a little bit for me. But nonetheless, this is the skin you're going to get. I think this one's the Outpost Rush one. This one would be something like the Expedition one, I think. I think it says here, Corrupted Breach of Skin on the left. And then you have Outpost Rush Skin on the right. So other way around. Outpost Rush, Corrupted Breaches. Sorry, I see the little corrupted symbol there now. So I had them backwards. But you get the picture. Pretty much the same. They're very similar. Uh, there's a cape, the spiky things. I'm not a fan, but that's what we're going to get, it looks like, for the skins. So let's take a look at the categories. So if you guys don't know, the big stink in the community right now or the big kind of kind of uh, uh, newsworthy stuff that's circulating around the community is that leaderboards are based on score for Outpost Rush and for Wars, which is going to lead to a lot of stat padding. And so a lot of people thought that whenever these were going to come into the game that they were going to adjust that and change that, and that does not seem to be the case. So we're going to point out a couple of sentences here, and we're going to talk about these things, okay? So it says, the primary goal of leaderboards is to celebrate players' accomplishments beyond single game modes or points in time. So they're going to be going through all the activities that New World has to offer and choose the ones that would best suit leaderboards, such as Outpost, Rush, and War. We did have to balance against categories that may encourage bad or unhealthy behavior. And this is kind of a key sentence right here for a lot of people because... Everyone in the community right now is in agreement, I think, or at least anybody I've talked to or anything, I, any content I have consumed, everybody is in, the, in agreement that basing rewards off of score in war or outpost rush or anything is, gonna, is going to do just this. It's going to encourage bad or un unhealthy behavior in the game. Quick little story here. I was on stream the other day. This was before leaderboards were even announced. And I had someone score 99,600 points in OPR. Yes, you heard right. 99,600 points. Because they had collaborated with other members. They had taken people from the opposing team and from our team. And they ran around and just had a big healing circle going on. And trying to see how much this one guy could score. And it completely scuffed the entire OPR. That happened on stream. They were in my chat. It was a big thing, and uh, it was it was it was wild. It was a wild scene to see this uh, to see this play out. And if they don't think things like that are going to happen in OPR, then I'm not sure where their head is because that is absolutely what's going to happen, and uh, it's going to scuff the game mode. And so I think that this is going to get changed at some point in the future. It's shipping out like this, so it seems. And hopefully everybody's wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully they don't reward for score. It doesn't explicitly state that in this car in this article. Um, but if they do. I think that could be bad, but we'll see how it goes. So it says, for example, we originally had gathering boards, but these would have turned into excessive grind boards. So there are many ideas like gathering that are generally better suited to personal stats for fun rather than competing with others for the top spot. I feel like these were probably removed because of bots. Um, I, they would have been at the top of the leaderboard, I think. So that, that, that would have caused a problem there as well. But I understand the sentiment like grind boards. Uh, yeah, sure. It wouldn't have been very fun, but I think really 
uh, those are probably removed for bots. Uh, that's just my personal take on it. I'm, I'm not sure that has no bear that that there's no truth behind that at all. That's just what I, I kind of think is what happened. But then the leaderboards, you're going to be able to find the leaderboards through modes and then you're going to click on leaderboard and then here it is. So versus environments, we are going to be able to get uh, expedition clear time, boss trials completion. This is one that I think is good. I think the mutated expeditions for the clear time and the score is going to be pretty fun. I think that one will be a fun one to compete in personally. I think there is fun to be had whenever you're trying to speed run after you play the game for so long you know the expedition so well it's it, you get to step up your game a little bit and start speed running these things it does give some nice repeatable content so i think these are good i, I do like the mutated expedition leaderboards boss trials uh, i'm not sure how many people are even going to be running these but at least they're giving something to do for those trials because i don't think many people do them now anyway unless you're trying to get gypsum still uh there's just they're just really not worth doing so at least they're having a reason for people to people for people to do those corrupted breaches i think is fine for score that'll be kind of interesting i guess uh invasions we have score wins kills deaths kill ratio heals damage absorb damage dealt i think some of these things are fine right like score in pve is much different than whenever you're trying to stat pad in pve two different scenarios because you're killing mobs right you're out there killing mobs the mobs aren't dropping sacreds down you're not out there stat padding against somebody that's standing in a sacred you are killing them and you're just racking up score it's a much different scenario whenever you're in an invasion versus in pvp so now let's take a look at versus players here here's where it gets very interesting open world pvp is kills influence earn capture control points factions influence earn control capture points and this is the big stink this is what everyone's talking about and it is still listed here score wins kills death kill death ratio npc kills resources contributed heals and damage dealt so the big one of course is score that's where everybody thinks everybody's gonna stat pad and they will it will encourage toxic behavior without a doubt people are gonna go in there uh and, and try to get the top score and whenever you have Whenever you have a group of, say, like five people that are going in there and trying to top the charge, yes, that will scuff the entire OPR. Uh, a group of five can completely ruin OPR. OPR right now is not in a great spot, in my opinion, anyway. It's like you go in there, and at least on our server, this is how it is. You have about a 1 in 10 chance to get into a really good OPR. Otherwise, it is very lopsided. It's 1,000 to 100, and you're either on the winning team or you're on the losing team. Uh, and it just depends on which straw you draw, right? Uh, it, it's not in a great spot anyway, and I think this could make that game mode even worse, which is which is the scare. I think they'll change it though. We'll see. Three v three arenas. This is one that that uh, that I'm a little disappointed in because they haven't announced any rewards for three v three arenas. They just have these these score wins, losses, uh, all of the metrics that are going to be on the leaderboard. But they haven't told us that there's going to be any uh, rewards for those. On the PTR, there wasn't. If they don't release rewards for 3v3 arenas, I'm going to be a little disappointed. This is an area that I think could benefit a lot from leaderboards and could be a lot of fun. But right now, there's not any in there. And then here's the faction. Faction uh, territory control. And then the faction war kind of has the same problem, right? You have score. You have some metrics in here that can definitely be stat padded. I think the worry here is that the war scene is going to be even more scuffed with people coming in here trying to do those types of things uh, and trying to top the leaderboards versus going in there and actually competing. So... We'll see what happens, but they are coming in. We also have trade skills, which are based on legendary items crafted. Here's one thing I'd like to know that I didn't test on the PTR that I wish I would have is like named items that you can craft with patterns. I don't know if that counts as a legendary, but I can see that being kind of a workaround if it does. Not sure if it does. It might just be random legendaries that you roll, but uh, nothing wrong with that category, I, I, I don't think. But overall, like I'm not too super stoked about leaderboards. I think this is cool. However, because I think this could add some replayability to a lot of people that have played the game for a very long time, which I think is the ultimate goal of leaderboards anyway, right? After you play the game for a long time, you've kind of exhausted all the content you want to exhaust. You can come in here, you can jump in leaderboards, and you have something else to compete for on a re reoccurring basis, right? Like every cycle, every week, every quarter, every month, whatever it may be, you have something to come in here and compete for. So I think overall, the addition of leaderboards could be good for New World. I think in its current iteration, if they haven't changed anything, which I hope they have, uh, I, I, it's, it's going to be scuffed, if not for a little while, but I think they will change it and adjust it in the future. I am hopeful that this will be ultimately be a good addition to the game. We'll see. I'm having a hard time getting super excited about them, uh, but hopefully a lot of people, other people will. I think it will be fun to go compete in like the mutated expedition ones. I think those will be fun. If they add 3v3 rewards, I'll definitely be in there competing in, th in those because I really enjoy 3v3. So I think that'll be fun. But I think these could be fun. Uh, score, expedition clear time. Those could be a lot of fun, but we'll see. Another good little, uh, little thing to be optimistic about here though, is that the faster they get these out, the faster we can get the bigger changes that have been kind of hidden or or unannounced we know that there are some unannounced changes 
coming to the game or some unannounced features. We have seen that mentioned on the forums a couple times now. And so now with leaderboards, hopefully getting out of the way on the 7th, that may mean, and hopefully it will mean that we'll get more information about the big changes coming to the game very soon. Uh, that's the hope. We'll see. But that'll do it for this one, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I just wanted to bring you guys this news real quick. Leaderboards are coming to the game on February the 7th. That is just right around the corner. And again, let me know what you think about these in the comments below. I'd love to have the conversation with you. This is, has been a very hot topic for the community for a while. I'd love to know what you guys uh, think and have to say. But that'll do it for this one, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video or you enjoy new world content, please make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate that as well. And of course, come hang out with us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BDOG. We're live there every Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock a.m. CST. Thank you guys again. Uh, that'll do it. We'll see you next one.